Hi, welcome to the movie recapper. Today I will show you a horror, mystery, thriller movie from 2017, titled Wish Upon. This is a spoiler content video. The movie is about a teenage girl discovers a box that carries magic powers and a deadly price for using them. Enjoy the video and let's begin. On an otherwise ordinary day, a woman named Joanna Shannon goes to throw out something wrapped in a sheet. Her daughter Claire goes to ride her bicycle with her dog Max. Joanna goes into the house looking spaced. When Claire comes home, she goes into the attic to find Joanna hanging herself. Teenage Claire wakes up from this nightmare. She gets ready to go to school. Claire rides her bike to school and sees her uncle August, whom her father won't let her speak to for some reason. Claire is distracted and nearly gets struck by popular girl Darcy Chapman. Claire just scrapes her knee and rips her legging. When Claire gets to school, she sees her father Jonathan dumpster diving with his friend Carl. Embarrassed, she goes to tell him to go away. Claire then joins her friends June Acosta and Meredith McNeil, while we see that Claire has a crush on popular guy Paul Middlebrook. Darcy also takes an opportunity to be a bitch and hit Claire's banner with her drink. A few moments later, Claire is at the school buffet with June and Meredith when they are giggling as Darcy and her clique of mean girls walk by. Darcy questions Claire as to why she's laughing, and Claire says that she called Darcy Ultimate Smegma, which is some kind of genital secretion in both males and females. Darcy smacks Claire, who smacks her back. Claire then gets knocked over, and she retaliates by tackling Darcy to the ground and engaging in a girl fight. Claire's father finds a Chinese music box and gives it to her as an early birthday gift. Claire takes it inside and reads that the box will grant seven wishes. She scoffs it off. Darcy, posts some pictures of Claire's father on social media. She takes the music box and makes what she thinks is a hypothetical wish for Darcy to go rot. The following morning, after an apparently crazy party in Darcy's home, she wakes up to find part of her hands, feet and face looking grotesquely rotted. The news spreads around the school that Darcy got necrotizing facilities from a spa, and that means Claire's wish has come true. However, on that day, Claire goes to look for Max, and finds his dead body under the deck in the house. She and Jonathan bury their dog. After spending a good part of her day pining for Paul, Claire decides to make her second wish be that Paul would fall madly in love with her. When she goes to school again, Paul approaches her and shows clear interest, even in front of his girlfriend Lola Sanchez. In Uncle August's home, the old man is preparing to take a bath. He fills his tub with water and steps in, only to clumsily slip and hit his head on the side of the tub. He regains consciousness, only to bang his head on the nozzle and die. Upon learning of August's death, Claire wonders to her father if August left his inheritance to anyone. Jonathan doubts he or Claire would have been mentioned. Considering that they aren't very financially stable at the moment, Claire goes to her room and tells the music box her third wish, which is that August had left her everything. Claire wakes up the next day to Jonathan telling her that August apparently left Claire his entire inheritance. Soon, the two move into a mansion and start driving flashy cars. Jonathan gives Claire his credit card so that she can treat June and Meredith to a shopping spree. A few hours later at home, the spontaneous opening of the music box catches her attention. But at this moment, their former neighbor Mrs. DeLuca, dies after her hair gets stuck in the dishwasher chopper. Paul officially breaks up with Lola and immediately proceeds to ask Claire out. She takes some time to think about it. Claire asks her friend Ryan Huey for help in figuring out the phrase on the music box, as well as its history. They visit his cousin Gina in her loft. They find that the box has been passed down for decades, but they cannot translate the phrase. Gina sends the phrase to someone for an answer. Claire is still annoyed that her dad goes dumpster diving for knickknacks. She uses her fourth wish for Jonathan to be less embarrassing. Jonathan then becomes a smooth saxophone player that even Claire's friends find hot. That night, Gina is alone in her loft when she receives an email with the translation. She says it's messed up and it starts to freak her out. She tries to call Ryan outside but he doesn't answer the phone. 
The door behind her slams and causes her to drop her phone. She goes back inside as the power is out. In the darkness, she trips and falls face first onto a the horn of a bull statue. On the next day, Ryan goes to visit Gina, he finds Gina's phone on the ground and runs up to her loft to find her dead. He finds Claire at school and tells her that he learned the phrase on the box translates to when the music ends, the blood price is paid. He tells Claire that Gina is dead. Claire is now Paul's girlfriend, but all of his friends don't care to hang out with her since Paul dumped Lola for her. Claire then wishes that she would become the most popular girl in school. She then gets invited to a party with Paul. On the next day, Claire goes to Mrs. DeLuca's home and enters to a horrible smell. She then finds Mrs. DeLuca's dead body still lingering by the sink. Claire tells June and Meredith about the box and how she's been making wishes. Meredith chides her for not using wishes on good things instead of using them on herself. June encourages Claire to get rid of the box. Claire goes to do so, but then decides to keep the box just in case. In another party night that she gets invited with Paul where they have a good time and go to his car to hook up, Claire realizes Paul is spying on her and taking pictures. She leaves Paul. The girls hang out at a hotel. Claire gets a phone call from Jonathan saying he's going to a gig, and he soon gets a flat tire. The scene jumps between Jonathan changing his tire and Meredith going off by herself to play a phone app. Claire admits to June that she didn't get rid of the box. Meredith then sets foot in an elevator to rejoin her friends. Jonathan is nearly struck by two drag racers. He goes under the car to grab a missing piece, with the car jack nearly loosening itself. Finally, he knocks a spare tire loose, which gets hit by an oncoming car and nearly tears Jonathan's head off. The elevator that Meredith is on then malfunctions before dropping completely and crashing to the bottom, killing Meredith. June blames Claire for this. Ryan also tells Claire that he's learned more about the box's history. Those who have used it all ended up dead, and after seven wishes, the Yogi I claims the soul, that's the final price. He refers to a man who used the box's wishes to make his life better, only for his wife and children to perish. He burned his house down with himself and the box inside, but the box survived. Claire and Ryan do what they can to destroy the box themselves, but nothing works. While Claire is sleeping at night, she finds Paul has broken into her room. He asks her if it's over between them. Claire makes it obvious that it is, and he slits his wrist. He is later taken to the hospital. On the next day, Clara and Ryan couldn't find the box, they thought maybe it's over. Claire struggles with the result of her wishes and the thought of undoing them. Eventually, the wishes are undone when Claire and Jonathan have their money taken because Uncle August never paid his taxes. They move back into their old home. Darcy returns to school with her skin healing and she's still a bitch to Claire. Claire finds out that June took the box from her room to try and get rid of it but Claire takes it back. Utterly frustrated and losing her mind, Claire tries to resist making another wish, but she makes her sixth wish be that her mother never committed suicide. Seconds later, she hears Joanna's voice. Claire embraces her mother for the first time in years. It also turns out that in this new timeline, Claire has younger twin sisters. Claire goes to the attic and among her mom's paintings, she finds one of the same box, leading her to realize her mom once had the same box and it was responsible for her suicide. The happiness is short-lived Claire sees Jonathan outside under a tree as Carl is trying to chop off a branch with a chainsaw. Claire runs outside to warn her dad, only for Carl's ladder to wobble, causing him to accidentally swing the chainsaw down and decapitate Jonathan. Claire screams at the box that she wants to use her last wish to go back to the day that her dad found the box. Claire wakes up on that fateful day. Max is on her bed. She calls Meredith to hear her voice, though she's annoyed that Claire woke her up. Claire asks Jonathan if she can join him and Carl as they go looking for things. Claire finds the box in a bin and wraps it in a sheet, taking it with her, and goes to school. Claire finds Ryan and gives him the box, saying how she knows Gina and that she can figure out what the box says and that they should get rid of it. She also makes dinner plans with Ryan and kisses him in front of June and Meredith. Claire walks off happily. And then Darcy accidentally hits her with her car, 
sending Claire's body flying several feet and crashing onto a windshield. All the students look on in horror as Claire lays dead on the windshield of the other car. In the after credit scene, Ryan is seen finishing digging up a hole to bury the box. Then he looks around and takes out the box from the bag in which Claire handed it over to him saying never to open to see what's inside and to bury it so nobody could find it. He removes the dirt around the box and reads the Chinese letters and says, Seven wishes and looks around with a hesitant face. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can watch more videos like this.